We got a Sherp in the booth. How cool is that? This is my first time driving the van, so. I mean, why wouldn't you buy? It's it's glass. That's what every guy wants for Father's Day. Like, if you want something, this is the best. What's up, everybody? It's Walk Through Wednesday, and today we are really walking it through because we are walking basically our whole showroom out into this trailer because we are going to the Western Hunting Expo in Salt Lake City, and we have a gigantic booth there that we're setting up. So as you can see, the whole showroom needs to roll out of here, and uh, so we got to set up today. So we got a lot of work ahead of us. We're dressed for the cold because you get up to the expo uh, center there in Salt Lake at the Salt Palace and it is freezing. It's like an ice box in there because all the doors are open. They won't heat it while everybody's loading in. So it's like just a big ice box in there every year. So it's kind of cold in here. I could use some hot chocolate. I wish I had some hot chocolate. I could use some hot, hot chocolate. chocolate. This time I'm ready. I wore my warm boots. I, uh, I got jackets. We're not gonna freeze to death this time. So although RB might. You might freeze to death in the expo. It's, it's my favorite thing, so cold. Okay. There you go. We've got everybody uh, loading up. We've got all, the whole marketing department out here, you know, slaving away at the moment. So we've got all kinds of cool stuff to display this time. We've got, we even got a Sherp. We got a Sherp in the booth. How cool is that? If you're not familiar with a Sherp is. That's what it's gonna look like. So let's go walk it through while we have a chance. Here's what it kind of looks like when uh, when you're loading in for a show. In case um, anybody ever wants to do an expo, or if you go to one, just keep in mind how hard they work to get there. <laughs> because it is uh, it's a tremendous amount of uh, preparation and work, so, but it's good. Cam Ruski. What's up? What's up? I'm making an employee purchase. Oh, cool. Oh, you're buying a watch? Well, it's not for me, it's a gift, but these are sweet. They are sweet. Um, and they're now available from Utah Air Guns. So if you guys want some cool Garmin watches, you should check out our website, especially the Tactic X, because it works with applied ballistics. And you can get your ballistic solutions on your watch. What? That's way better than an Apple what? watch. Way better. That's so much Way less than liberal watch. than an Apple watch. You got GPS, you got altimeters, you got... Yeah, this does all sorts of stuff. I don't even know all of it. It says it hooks up to the Wi-Fi, so the government can track you with it. These are cool. I really, I'm really stoked we carry these now. It's more like a leash than a watch, but you know. <laughs> Skyler, how's it going? What's up, dude? Just hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. I just finished my Red Bull, so. What are those? My Birkenstocks. <laughs> the comfiest shoes ever. They're just formal Crocs, is all they are. Yeah, they're 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 nice. I like Thank them. You. Thank you. Yeah. Mr. Fish, what do you got going on today? Making dreams come true as usual. Getting ready for the Hunt Expo, which is going to be really, really exciting. Looking forward to seeing everybody up there. Looking forward to making new who, uh, to making new who, uh, new people. Did you see the pictures of the Sherp yet? The who? Oh, I did. I did. And everybody keeps asking me, where, what, what? Is that going to be at RMAC? I'm like, I'm sure it will be at RMAC. And I'm sure that if you ask nicely, you may get a ride. You may not, depending on... I think we need a Sherp walkthrough Wednesday where we can just go out in the Sherp and uh, definitely experience that. So, yeah. well, 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 what's up, dude? Put up your dukes. Put up your dukes. Put up your dukes. Go on. What's up, man? Gotta sell some guns. Yeah. How's the day going? It's good. Good. Yeah. Pretty busy. Getting packed up for the Hunt Expo. Loading trucks. So. It's a busy day. Yeah. Busy day. It's going to be good. What days are you up there? Every day. Only Man. the good guys. That's, oh, what is up? What's up? What's up? <clears throat> Hello. Spencer, have you been a part of Walkthrough Wednesday yet? I don't think so. Mm, I don't think you have. So yeah. we do a thing on Wednesday. Last week was my first week, so. Yeah, I couldn't remember if you were. <laughs> Holy sh For all you who don't know, I guess, because this is his first time on here, this is the Spencer Bangeter. He is uh, our new. Systems engineer, I guess, is what we're calling it. He's the tech guy. 
That being said, he's already one of the best shooters in the building. So we get a tech guy that's not just a nerd. Turns out he's a bad A too. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened back here? Well, we're doing a little testing on the Notos here. We had a, a request for it to shoot under 600. I think we're I think we're there. And we're probably gonna get there with using the 25 drain monsters. The FX slugs are not. So, that is not the pellet I would uh, no. normally see shot out of a Notos. But nope, no. no, but there was, I guess, some very strict rules they have to conform to. And one of those is 22 under 600. I'm curious how they'll shoot that heavy pellet. Yeah, honest. see if they'll even shoot it to 35 yards. Um, otherwise, we might try to get him into like a Dreamline, maybe a compact. Josh, how you doing? Rebuilding the gun here. Uh, I'd do complete resale front to back, retune the regulator. We're going for high power on this. 40 grains near a thousand. Cool. So, yeah, right now we're just rechecking everything uh, for leaks. And how often would you recommend somebody resells their whole gun? Probably, probably every two years, maybe. Just depends on how much you use it and especially what kind of environment you're in. If you're in a really dirty environment like out in the field uh all the time you might even need to be once a year um but good answer if you're just strictly from a bench in like indoors or whatever you might go two years i've, I've got guns that i've had for geez 15 years that i have not touched but if you want to make sure they're reliable every time you go out you know it's not a bad idea to just go through the o-rings every couple of years and just uh Give them a little once for it. I mean, oh, rings are cheap. Maintenance, though. Maintain your guns. Yes. Clean them. Check them. Lubricate where they should be lubricated. If That's you're out thing. shooting in the rain, which, you know, we're all going to shoot in the rain sometime, take it out of the case. Let it dry out. Um, we, we see a lot of guns that will come in after been shot in the rain, and they put it back in the, in the case, and they get stuff rusted up. Yeah. But if you just take it out, set it on the kitchen table for a night, it'll dry it out enough to keep things from pitting up and and destroying the internals of the guns. Yeah, if you have an air hose, you can kind of just blow any of the little little gaps, screw holes, anything. Just kind of blow them out if, you, if you've had a lot of moisture on them, just so you don't have sitting. If you're on an impact or dynamic, just hit a little bit of air in your adjuster area because that's where your hammer travels. And so you can just dust that out with even just the computer air dusters. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Um, just to get the moisture out of there, keep that from rusting up. Kyler, what's up, dude? About to uh, mount up the blitz. No. Mount up the blitz. Dirty cow blitz. Who doesn't like a little full auto action, Bubba? Yep. For Mr. John, I can't say his last name, but. Fair enough. <laughs> Let's, uh, all right, all right. What's up, guys? What's happening? Just getting some dealer's orders, dealer orders out for our, uh, fantastic dealers out there thank you guys we appreciate everything you do for us and, uh, just in prep for uh hunt expo this week so yeah i'm pretty excited come up and see us you guys i'm sure this yeah. might come out after the expo but just know we said we're excited to see you before you see it that's right exactly. and then you'll see this after and be like they really did appreciate me coming yeah absolutely yeah. i like your notes yeah you know we're uh, doing our best to get everybody uh, on top of stuff and staying accurate for our customers hey let's go talk to this good new guy so, uh, how's the day going? Oh, good. Great abs, though. Not much of a talker, but he's got some good abs. Lauren, what's up today? I'm just helping Travis. Yeah? Yeah. All right. She's helping the senior citizens today. Yeah. Oh, well, that's nice of you. What's your favorite song? Uh, By Slayer. I don't know. I've been listening to a lot of Vampire Weekend because they're dropping new stuff in like two days, so. Vampire Weekends. Okay. What's up, dude? Howdy, howdy. What's happening? Dude, just boxing up with a good old dynamic. Nice, 30 cal? Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. That's a fun gun package, there. What's it said? It looks like you're shooting slugs? Some hybrids or? Some uh, HBTs. Yeah, all right. Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah. Is that, are you going to pump this gun? I'm not going to pump it. Is that what it is, though? That's a hand pump. That's the plan. Let's be a crossfitter. Yeah, I was going to say, they must be CrossFitters or something. Yeah. CrossFitters and ice bath guys. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's cracking. How much? Yeah. Get some dealer orders out and cranking away. Yeah. Going to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia? Yeah. What are we going to Saudi Arabia for? Uh, fights. Yeah. What's the story? Uh, Clay's fighting uh, AJ McKee. 
he was like the Bellator champ at one point. Nice. And since uh, PFL bought Bellator, now they're doing kind of top dogs versus top dogs. Very cool. Yeah. We're worldwide, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is the day today. I know we do this every walk through. We come out, just admire the parking lot. Oh, sunnier. It's a lot nicer of a day than it was last, last time we were doing this. That's for sure. He's on the phone. Perry's on the phone. He's on the phone. Stay tuned. You can jump in the trucks, drive up to Salt Lake with us. We'll get there. We'll get set up and we'll show you what we got going on. I think you'll like it. We're at the Salt Palace. We've just loaded in the van. Now we've emptied the trailer. Here's what we got going on. We got boxes and boxes of guns. And uh, we got Galotech walls upon Galotech walls. And then we got individual uh, vendor booths. So we'll get all this lined out, start, start uh, situating this to where it's gonna flow well with the crowds. We got the Sherp in. So we're in business with that guy. We're getting there. We're getting there. Day one of load in. We still have to, all day tomorrow to set up still. And then uh, show starts Thursday. So we got the giant LED wall up here. We've got big LED walls between each set of Galotech. So there'll be gun displays with video playing on each screen here. We'll get it on. Let's go. Right now, we're just kind of building out the accessories, optics wall. We got some chronographs, we've got some binos, bipods, uh, Kestrel optics, stuff like that. Just trying to make it look aesthetic pleasing so people will buy stuff. I mean, why wouldn't you buy? It's, it's glass. That's what every guy wants for Father's Day. Wives, <laughs> buy your husband a night force or Theos. Elements are, elements are really nice. Been very impressed with them lately. Another thing wives should buy for their husbands. <laughs> this thing's just wild, it'll go anywhere. All branded with Utah air gun stuff. Yeah, just a good manly outing. Bring your sons, <laughs> get your sons into shooting. <laughs> Raise some men. <laughs> we do have a little situation with the apparel display. There was some uh, confusion on what was going on there. Let's go talk to Mr. Art Department, Mr. RB himself and find out what he's got planned there. What are we gonna do about apparel? So uh, we're gonna go make a Put quick pit shirt. We're gonna go pit, <laughs> make a quick pit stop to the store, see what we can't find. What do you have in mind? Uh, you know what? We've got something cool in mind. Now it's, oh, watch my GPS not work. Are we even going to Target? Day two of setup, um, day before the actual expo starts, we are Going to pick up some apparel displays from Target. Um, did curbside pickups, so we'll see how that goes with this bad boy. <laughs> and this is my first time driving the van, so. Oh. That was a curb. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. Made it. Oh. It was not. <laughs> Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Good, you're good, you're good. Oh, just stop, 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 stop. It's been a long day already. It's been a long day. What time is it? It is 4.15 p.m. So we're getting there. We are getting there. It's gonna be uh, another long day tomorrow, but this is gonna be awesome when we're done. And uh, hopefully people that haven't seen this stuff before can come in and check it out and be like, dude, I need an air gun. I need a thermal scope. I need, I need some daytime optics. I need some spotting scopes. I need a Sherp. I need a bow fishing rig. Like they're liberated. Like they sh came to the show and felt alive because they came to this boost. That's the goal. That's what we're going for. And that's what we're going to get. It is day one of the Hunt Expo. We're here. We've got the booth finally all set up. Let's do a little walkthrough. I'll show you guys what we got going on and uh, see what you guys think. We've got all of our apparel lines for sale. We've got some brand new stuff that we haven't had before. Different shirts, different hats, 
Then we've got optics, we've got chronographs, we've got Kestrels, we've got guns everywhere. We got big bores, we got arrow shooters, we've got every gun known to man, we've got every thermal you can possibly think of here. We have reps here from IRA, from AGM, we've got other brands on hand, we've got Pulsar, we've got Armasite, so all kinds of stuff on deck. We got the brand new Night Force spotter on display. And uh, we've got Armageddon gear in the house, eh? Mr. Tom Fuller himself. Tom, hey, what's hey, happening, buddy? Selling stuff. Selling stuff. Yeah. So you've got some brand new stuff, a whole new line. Right. Talk us through it. What well, do you got? Well, as you know, man, we've been selling uh, shooting accessories for military, law enforcement, competition shooters for years. And last year we decided, you know, we know how to sew good stuff. Uh, yeah. We love the hunt. Let's make a hunting line. So we took the old school look and feel. We love yeah. those old nostalgic trappings with some modern day designs. And uh, we launched it at Dallas Safari Club a few months ago and it was super well received. And uh, uh, we know this is gonna be a hit. Uh, it's made in America, guaranteed for life, just like yeah. everything we make. Uh, some of the flagship products in the line is our bino chest rig. And the, the kind of the thing behind it is, instead of just a bino pouch, you got everything you might need at hand for the hunt. Yeah. It's close at hand, you're not digging through your pouch. We took the same idea and did a turkey chest rig. Instead of digging, trying to remember which pocket in the vest you put it, you've got, it, it's all purpose built and it yeah. includes your uh, your thermocell. But uh, Say, you can got a thermocell pouch, yeah. you got it going. It's, that is the- Well thought out stuff. Yeah. That really is. Well thought out stuff. So uh, big cool. game, uh, waterfowl, um, you know, we're gonna do, you know, just a little bit of everything for the sport. Yeah. This is just a, a very early initial offerings, but uh, man, it's we're just adding stuff all the time, yeah. and we're really excited and appreciate you being a part of it. And, yeah. And, and yeah. thanks for letting us be here. Yeah, man, glad glad to have you here, dude. I love the the old school, but with the modern technology, yep. like this old school and the, just the highest quality. Like, yep. like if you want something, this is the best. Like this is. This is the best stuff made. It's made here in America by the best seams, is it seamstress? Seamstress, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I love it. I yep, love it. Too. Cool stuff, man. Yep. You said I was gonna love it. You're right. Yep, I you do. are. I do, I do. Yep, now we need to go field test. <laughs> yes, yes <laughs> that's, we do. That's the fun part. Even better. Yeah, yes sir. <laughs> so we got custom guns on display. This one's got all the brand new Air Marksman stuff. You got the backbow, the Loki rail, got a, Got some really cool features where the ARCA comes clear back here. You've got swing civil attachments, all kinds of cool stuff there. And obviously we have a whole gun wall. We've got custom guns. We've got every brand of gun. We've got we've got it all here on display. Shane, Shane's with Element Optics. Tell us what we got going on here. Uh, we got the Element set up right here with all the scopes, rangefinder, binoculars. We're here at the Utah Air Guns booth checking out some of the new products. Um, just a quick rundown of what we have with us here at the show today. This is not like our full line of products. Obviously we have the Element Theos, the Nexus, Titan, Helix models. We've got everything from dedicated weapon sites, the big 1280 everyone wants to look through, down to some monoculars and some clip ones. Big thing, um, this is our Rattler V2. And this is freshly announced at SHOT Show this year. So what you get with the Rattler V2, you get a uh, better thermal sensor, a better sensitivity rating. So clarity and detail on this, this thing essentially is, uh, I mean, that's the number one, like most important upgrade internally. But we're real excited about the uh, new range finders that uh, we just launched at SHOT Show about a month ago. We have the Titan 3K, the Helix 1500, and the new RF module. We're showing off the mate over here on, on a night force with the FX, and man, it's a mean setup. This is another product that we announced at SHOT Show, and these are also just about to start shipping. Um, so this is our Clarion. And the cool thing about the Clarion is this is our, our dual field of view thermal scope. So this has two germanium lenses uh, that you can switch back and forth. So this 640 model has a, 30, a 35 millimeter lens and a 60 millimeter lens. So essentially you have two base mags that, that you can work from. Nice thing about the range finders is they all have your ballistics built into them. Download the Element Optics app for free and then Bluetooth through the range finder, put your ballistics in the range finder and everything's inside ready to go so you have your dope. We do have our Vormin thermal scope. We have these in uh, 384 and 640 resolutions. This is uh, one of our scopes with the LRF feature. Not all of our scopes come with the LRF, but the Vormin does. And then you got the RF module sitting on top of the Theos. Great little unit. 
has a display screen on the back so you can range very quick, get your dope, dial, and shoot. It's time. It's time to give it away. You've seen this at the expo all weekend. This was our last giveaway. We gave away a few other guns uh, this weekend. This was the finale. We've got the brand new M3 Impact. You've got it in the fresh King's Camo Hydro Dip. You've got the Air Marks and Backbone, Saber Arca Rail. This thing's ready to go. It's topped with some great optics. We've got the Element Titan on there. Impulse Air to keep it all hushed up. Let's go. Let's give it away. L. Hymus. And I won't finish the rest of the email, but you are the winner, L. Hymus, if that's your name. I mean, it's a cool name, no judging. But there you go, you have won an awesome gun. So even if your name is weird, you have an awesome gun package. So if you want to be involved in some cool giveaways, hey, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Utah Air Guns. Also, Instagram, Utah underscore Air Guns. And you may get a chance to win something awesome.